Jupiter arrives in the Temple of Motorsports at Silver Soil. Many of the drivers really want to win here in GP2, especially the British driver, willing to do good in front of their crowd. So here are the top three and the floor three of the British weekend. Top three goes to Nick Yellowley. He had a very discreet start of the season, but the local boy gave us one of the best actions on track this weekend. His strategy in the future race let him get very strong points and he converted this good pace in the sprint race. A very good thing for the young British driver. Top 2 goes to Dams. The two Dams boys found the pace they didn't seem to have earlier in the season. Pierre Gasly led the team with a good fourth place in the future race and a second podium in the sprint race thanks to an astonishing start. Alex Lynn managed to save a very poor qualifying session and Dams really need to work on that point if they want to fight with ART or Racing Engineering. And top one goes to Oliver Roland. I have to say, I was first surprised when I saw him in GP2, but then I said, okay, he is British and he's the leader of the 3.5 in Formula Reno, so he can be here. And what a great thing it was to have him there, especially in the sprint race when he fought with Stafford van Dorn, the two of them leading their own championships. And it was really nice to see it, and it shows that even in WSR, which is below GP2, they are really good drivers. Now we start with the flops and flop 3 goes to Johnny Chakoto Jr. When it came to Carlin this weekend, I don't think Johnny Chakoto expected such a hard weekend. Clearly out of pace, the most experienced driver in the grid was far from convincing this weekend. The winning time seems very far for the Venezuelan driver. Flop 2 goes to Stoffel van Dorn. That weekend that are quite distant for certain people and terribly disappointing for the others. This weekend was this kind of weekend for the Belgian driver. Since qualifying, he clearly wasn't there. He wasn't able to fight for victory against Sirotkin in the first race and he only got a third place in the podium. But the worst is that he lost three places in the race too, which led him out of the points. A weekend to forget, even if he sees way far away ahead of Alexander Rossi in the championship. And flop one goes to Mitch Evans. It's such a terrible season for Mitch Evans. He clearly was nowhere to be seen this weekend and has to face the good start of the season of his young teammate Artem Markolov. We were expecting him to fight against Stoffel van Dorn for the championship before the beginning of the season. And it's really sad to see he can only fight for P20 and that's when he doesn't have bad luck when, like in the feature race, when his headrest went off. Picture of the weekend is the GP2 grid but in black and white with the amount of black and white flags used in the sprint race as a reprimand with the track limits. So thank you for watching, I'll see you in three weeks for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Like, share, subscribe and see you under the checkered flag.